Hello and welcome back to Nat Chat. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Rob Lunn, who studied anthropology and what else was it? Archaeology. <laughs> Archaeology and much more. He also runs meditation and self-improvement workshops. He was also previously in the Navy for nine years. Welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mirella. <laughs> um, before we were going to the break, we are talking about love and fear, the scale. Can you yes. explain all of that to us? Certainly. Yep. As, as a, a being, we, we have an empowerment. Mm. We, we are more than we're led to believe. Mm. And this is where um, in our function in society, there's a, a, a term I use, and I, I can't accept credit for this, I use the matrix. Yeah. Um, great people before me have, have used this to describe society. Um, in fact, anyone familiar with the subject knowledge has probably heard of, of David Icke or Alex Jones. So they've, they've used this term as well. I, I can't claim credit for it, but I love it. The Matrix, mm. if, if you've seen the movie, mm. okay, we're not asleep somewhere in these tubes, but mm. as far as what we think of as reality around us mm. is predominantly false. Mm. And it keeps us in a state of unempowerment by being in a place of fear. Because yeah. when we are in love, mm. which is that a natural state, as yeah. a being, as an yeah. immortal, multidimensional, infinite being, mm. we are love. Yeah. Love is all there is. It's, it's yeah. a state. Everything, there's love and everything else can be categorized as fear. Yeah. Because that's, that's all there is. People talk about love and hate. Yeah. But hate is just an, a, a different emotional response. Mm. I mean, really, if, you cannot hate someone if you haven't loved them. Yeah. Um, because there requires a, a bond. To, to, I yeah. mean, if a complete stranger walks up to me and says, mate, you're an idiot. It's like, okay, you don't know me. Mm. You, you're not in a position to judge me. Yeah. It's, it's water off a duck's back. It means yeah. nothing. Mm. If someone you love, someone you care about says, Rob, you're an idiot. I'll stop and I'll think, oh, oh maybe I am. Mm. But I will investigate. Yeah. And that's where empowerment comes in as well. Mm. Self-realization. Mm. And we mentioned before the internet in its terms. There's never been in the history of our species, a time where the average person on the street can mm. access information. Mm. Because the events that we're given in mm. the matrix is always one person's opinion. Mm. Now, when there's so many sources, I mean, you just watch, you might, everyone usually has their, their favorite news mm. that they mm. watch. Mm. Uh, regardless of what it is, that's, they sit down, they watch the news, now I know what's going on in the world. Yeah. It might be describing one event. Mm. You can get on the internet and you can cross-check that information very, very easily. Mm. We mentioned before Google search engines. Mm. And so anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, mm. ask someone. Mm. Ask your kids. Um, if, if you're new to all this, you know, look in your local newspaper. Mm. There'll, there'll be a uni student in there advertising internet tutorial. Uh, you might even get one for the cost of a meal. I mm. mean, but. You sit, mm. This is a time you need to know this information yeah. because whilst you're accepting yeah. from one source of news what's going on in the world, mm. you are not in a position of empowerment. You are in effect. You're being told what's going on. Mm. You're not creating. You're in effect. Mm. On the scale, mm. that's not love. Mm. That's fear yeah. because you're being told what's going on. If you investigate something, mm because it doesn't feel right and you go oh this isn't right mm. or oh someone else has a different opinion mm. what makes this person's opinion less valid than an opinion you're hearing on the news because bear in mind in the day it is an opinion mm. and we as individuals have opinions that make us unique mm. so when you think of if you're given some information whether it's from the news whether I've given it to you, mm. you take that information in, mm. you process it in your database, mm. and your database is, is your collective life experiences. Mm. Everything that's ever happened is in like a hard drive, mm. and that's your total source of information. Mm. You put it in, you look for something, you come up with an answer. Mm. That's how we assess situations. Yeah. So if you are being told something and you're naturally accepting it mm. because you've gone to your database, and you've come up with an answer, mm. you're in effect. Mm. If you're researching, you're mm. looking, mm. you're being proactive, mm. you're not sitting back 
being given reality, mm. you are going out and you're looking mm. for reality. Mm. That proactive approach puts you in the love end of the scale mm. and means that you create. Mm. And in that, lift like, like a frequency, a range mm. of frequencies. Yeah. Okay. While you're vibrating mm. at a lower frequency, yeah. you are not like a radio station. Mm. If you're tuned in at this number on the dial, mm. you cannot hear what's being played on this number on the dial. Yeah. While you're in fear, while mm. you're in that vibrational state, mm. you are not open to opportunities. Mm. People talk about missed opportunities. Absolutely, yeah. uh, you're walk walking down the street mm. and an opportunity is standing there, but if you're not looking for it, mm. you can walk straight past it. In fact, there's a, a term for that, it's called a scotoma, mm. which is a filter. Mm. Um, classic example, you decided, hey, I'm going to buy a new car. Mm. I want a... Um, Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> Suddenly, everywhere you go, the model, the colour, <laughs> the style, they're everywhere. <laughs> Did they suddenly appear? No. Mm. It's just now you're becoming aware. Because yeah. the information that goes into to our brains, yeah. the way our mind processes information for our input, yeah. whether it be through eyes, ears, touch, smell, mm. the information that goes into our mind, mm. we are only capable of processing mm. one-tenth of that. Mm. Your scotoma is a filter mm. that will determine and helps you mm. sort out information. Mm. So Mercedes of the style, colour that you want, mm. okay, not important, delete, mm. um, we'll, we'll take this 10%. Mm. You've decided you want one, that comes, oh, that's important, we'll retain that, we'll drop something else out. Mm. So you're actually only processing 10% of the information that's going in. Mm. That's where if people who write down their goals and mm. proactively go for their goals, mm. usually get them because their scotoma filter is accepting and letting opportunities through. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting at home, oh no, we're, we're doomed, the, mm -hmm. the world's in a mess, the financial market's crashing, we're in a recession, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Mm -hmm. In that realm of fear, mm -hmm. that's what your filter's focused in and that's all you're going to see. The only thing that's going to get through your filter mm -hmm. is catastrophe, fear mm -hmm. and victimisation where you mm. are the victim. Beautiful. Well said. We've got to go to break then. Okay. <laughs> but we'll continue again. All right. You're watching Nat Chat. I hope you're enjoying the program. It's very interesting, isn't it? We'll be back with more very shortly.